Hey everybody, so before we get into this video, I just want to recommend a video to you guys. It's a video of me unboxing my new HM Digital pH 200 pH meter. And this is a really good high-end pH meter, so if you're serious about making cosmetics and you want to make sure you're getting accurate pH readings of your cosmetics, then I highly recommend this pH meter. And in that video of me unboxing this pH meter, I go into the details on how to calibrate it and on how to take care of it and everything because it's actually a little tricky. It actually has a little sponge in the cap that you have to keep saturated in a pH electrode storage solution. I'll have the pH electrode solution linked down below, this pH meter linked down below, the calibrating solution linked down below, and also the cheaper pH meter I'm going to be comparing this more expensive pH meter to uh, down in the description box below as well. So if you're interested in buying anything I'm using in this video, it'll all be linked down below. So like I said, I am comparing this $70 pH meter to this $15 pH meter. Both of these can be purchased on Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. Also in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I take the pH of thicker solutions such as like creams, serums, and uh, face washes if they're like thicker face washes. So first you want to start off with just a small container fill it with some distilled water so it can be your rinsing solution for your pH meters and then I'm just going to be using a digital scale to weigh out 10% of my cream first I'm going to be showing you guys how to take the pH of a cream and I'm using 10% of my cream and then 90% distilled water because you need to dissolve your cream in some water in order to take the pH because you can't just dip your pH meter into a cream. It won't be able to read the pH that way. And even if it does, it'll clog your pH meter and you don't want that to happen because you can't touch the pH meter electrode glass bulb thingy because uh, you can scratch it and ruin it. So you have to dilute your thicker solutions in some distilled water in order to get an accurate pH reading. So while that is dissolving in the water, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out my serum and I'm just using a 50 milliliter glass beaker here. I used a 50 milliliter glass beaker for the last one as well and I'm just weighing out 10% of my serum and then 90% distilled water and then just mixing that in until it's dissolved in. And then lastly I decided to take this 25 milliliter glass beaker because I was out of my 50 milliliter glass beakers and I put in 10% of this face wash I made a while back. It was just an experiment face wash so I'm not really using it and I don't really need it so I figured I'd use it for this video. And then I'm adding in 90% distilled water in order to dissolve the thicker face wash. So you don't have to worry about the distilled water changing the pH of your products much at all because distilled water really likes to take on the pH of its surrounding ingredients. So you are going to be getting a really good accurate reading. You don't have to worry about the distilled water changing the pH level. So first I am going to be using the more expensive pH meter to take the pH of this diluted cream. First you want to rinse it in your distilled water and then swish it around in your diluted cream solution for about a minute in order to get an accurate pH reading. And after about a minute, this is reading a pH of 5.49. So then you just want to rinse it off in your distilled water again and then just gently dry it with a paper towel and be sure not to touch the glass electrode like I mentioned before because you can damage it or scratch it and it can completely mess up the pH meter and it won't be able to take accurate pH level readings. So then afterwards you just want to recap it and set it to the side and now I'm going to be using my cheaper pH meter to show you guys the pH of this one. So of course you want to rinse it in your distilled water first and then swish it around into your diluted cream solution for about a minute to make sure you get a stable pH reading. And this pH meter is reading a little different. I can't show you to you guys because I don't have like a little hold button like the first pH meter does because like I said this is cheaper. But this pH meter is reading a pH of 5.08 so it's definitely reading a different pH. It's off by about 0.20 which isn't too much but it's still a difference. So then you want to go ahead and rinse the pH meter in your distilled water again and then dry it off with a paper towel. So next we're going to take a pH reading of our diluted serum solution. Of course I'm taking the more expensive pH meter first, rinsing it in my distilled water and then swishing it around in the diluted serum solution for about a minute and this one is reading a pH of 6.10. So again we're going to be doing it again with the cheaper pH meter, swishing it around in my solution for about a minute to get a stable pH reading 
and this one is reading 5.93. So again, it's off by about 0.20, a little bit lower than that. So this pH meter is definitely reading differently than my more expensive one, but I mean, that's not really the end of the world. It's only off by like 0.20 if that, so it's not too big of a deal. And then lastly, we're taking the pH of our diluted face wash solution. So again, rinse your pH meter in distilled water first, swish it around in the solution for about a minute, and this one is reading 7.25, which is actually personally a little high for a face wash for me. It's not the end of the world if you're using a face wash with that high of a pH, but personally, my skin likes something a little lower. But anyways, you want to rinse off your pH meter and then dry it off before you recap it. So let's take the pH with the cheaper pH meter. Again, dip it in your distilled water and then swish it around in the solution for about a minute. And this one is reading 7.17, so again, off by about 0.20. So we can totally say now that this cheaper pH meter is off by 0.20 compared to the more expensive pH meter. So overall, I do think both of these are good pH meters. If I had to recommend one to you, I would totally say the more expensive one. But if you're a beginner and you're not too serious about making cosmetics and you don't really do it too often, then the cheaper one will totally get you by but the more expensive one has more perks to it, and I think it's easier to calibrate. It also has a electrode storage solution, which kind of makes me trust the electrode more than the cheaper pH meter. The cheaper pH meter doesn't say to store it in a storage solution, so I don't. Um, also, the more expensive pH meter can take the temperature of products, and it actually has a hold button on it, so when you're taking the pH of your product, you can take the pH meter out and it will still save the pH reading on the screen. So it does come with a lot more perks compared to the cheaper one. So overall, I recommend the more expensive one, but if you're on a budget and you're a beginner, the cheaper one will totally get you by. Also remember to recalibrate your pH meters every month. And if you don't use them too often, you want to recalibrate them before you use them. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. Just to let you guys know, I will be making a video pretty soon on how to raise and lower pH levels, so look out for that. So now let's move on to the Patreon shoutouts. First is Essence of Nature over on Etsy, at Stardust Bath and Body over on Instagram, Nature's Farm Girl at naturesfarmgirl.com, Kennedy's Essentials at kennedysessentials.net, Let's Blend at letsblend.bigcartel.com, Creative with Love at creativewithlove.me, Trina's Jewelry Box over on Etsy, Wildflower Wildflower at wildflowerwildflower.com, Heartfelt Beauty here on YouTube if you want some more formulating videos. HSB Organics at hsborganics.com. I am Beautia at iambeautia.com. Sugared underscore pineapple over on Instagram. KAJ Bath and Body over on Etsy. Blue Mint Soaps at bluemintsoaps.com. And Satara here on YouTube. I'll have all my lovely patrons linked down in my description box. Also, if you guys didn't know, I do sell skincare products myself over on Etsy. I'll have it linked down below and down in the description box for you guys. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'll be purchasing either of these pH meters, and let me know if you recommend any pH meters down in the comments below. Hope you guys have a great week, and hope to see you guys next time. Bye! I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm from I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a vision Now I'm on a mission to find myself